Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and finally we're in Farm Simulator 2013. Once more I've decided to try and do a Let's Play. Um, because I, I do really like Farm Sim 2013 but I feel I've not played it as much as I maybe should have done because of the fact there are lots of other games out there that I have been playing. Now, the the map that I have chosen is called New Grange Farm. Now, as you can see from that, one of the reasons that I chose New Grange, New Grange Farm um, is because of the fact that I, it seems like I can use AI. Because I'm on my own, I want to use AI so I don't have to do everything all, all by myself. And because it allows you to clip through the bushes and there aren't that many trees, I was finding other maps. Like I found some really other awesome maps but they didn't organize it very well with the trees and, and the bushes so the AI would always get stuck, which was very annoying. Um, and also because I'm running the MR More Realistic mod, which is absolutely awesome, so I didn't, you know, there aren't that many maps for the More Realistic mod, so I was kind of stuck. You know, um, I didn't have a massive amount of choices and this seemed like the best one because it's an interesting map but it does allow me to use AI, which is good. So as you can see, um, I've got quite a nice farm area from the, the PDA, you can see the map. Um, and I've got this guy harvesting. Now, I thought at the beginning of the Let's Play, I would only use the, all of the equipment that comes with the map, New Grange Farm. So everything that comes with the map is obviously more realistic mod compatible um, so I just thought I would use all of the regular stuff that comes with the map first and then after that I might start buying other stuff other mods that I have now as you can see I have a tractor over here he is basically waiting to help out to um, make sure that this um, combine does not get full up and he's at 37%, so he's okay. Now, what I'm doing as well, I'm going to try to... Well, I found that field number two is quite a large one, and I want to try to seed it. Now, I haven't played Farm Sim 2013 that much, so you may have to bear with me a little bit in terms of I might not remember everything about it straight away. I mean, it should be okay. But certainly, I don't really know a lot of the more complicated things. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I'm sure it'll be lots of fun. Now, I'm going to... Oh, I think I need to fill it with seed. Does it have seed in it? Yes, it does. It's got 100% of something. Is that wheat? I think that might be wheat. Okay. We'll go with that because it's already in it, so whatever. Oh, that was a bit of a failure. <laughs> right, slow down. Now, I really like the more realistic mod. As you can see from the top right hand side, you get extra HUD stuff. So, the tractors that are compatible with the more realistic mod have all, all wheel drive, and I can turn it off by using the star key. Look, like that. You can also change the gears. See, you've got three gears now, which is kind of cool. You can change that by using the divide, like the slash, the forward slash key, I believe you'd call it, on the numpad. So that's really cool. But the most important thing is it actually adds a feeling of realistic weight to the vehicles in this game. So no longer are the car, the vehicles in this game light and airy and weightless and all that. They actually have weight and actually you have to be careful with the tractors that you use with various trailers and equipment because you have to make sure that the, tr that the, the tractor is heavy enough and it is powerful enough to deal with that, you know? Right, now I'm going to try seeding this field. I'm trying to use AI. I'm not sure how, the, how this is going to go. We'll see. Right, so I'm going to try hiring an AI worker. See how that works out. That looks good. Because I believe this field was already... 
I believe the field is already cultivated because I tried to cultivate it and it would not allow me to cultivate and I noticed that the, the, the texture was exactly the same as what the field already looked like. So now you can see the field is getting seeded which is really cool so that seems to be working. Awesome. And as you can see, this is a Lamborghini tractor. I have to say, I really don't like this tractor, how it looks. It, it performs okay, but it looks pretty awful. I don't like it, personally. Now, this is quite a big field, isn't it? It's probably the biggest field on this farm. So maybe I'm trying to bite off too much, you know, more than I can chew, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go and help this guy here. Oh yes, he needs it, look. Is he full up or did he... No, I think... Uh, I'm not sure, let's have a look. Is he full up? No, he's not. Why did he stop? Okay, so why don't I just do this last little bit? Might as well. Why not? I do like harvesting rather a lot. So I think as well, my plan is to, you know, work out the, the crops, plant a couple of rotations of crops, if you know what I mean. And then after that, maybe see if I can branch out into animals and various things. Now, I will be trying to put a link to all of the, the mods that I'm using but I'm not going to do it in this episode but maybe in a few episodes time I'll put a link to all the mods that I'm using so if anyone would like to join me in multiplayer you can let me know and I can um, you know then it will be easy for you to download all of the mods that I'm using I think I'm using about a gigabyte of mods though so it is quite a lot um, and then if you if you tell me then I'll try to play online when I play this map. The problem I have though is because I'm in Hong Kong, to be honest, most people that want to play with me, the time zone is so different, you know, that it's hard for us to meet up online. But I'm only five weeks away from the summer holidays, so it'll be a lot easier, obviously, in the summer holidays to um, try to meet up, you know. Right, so I'm hoping that we're getting quite a lot of wheat from this uh, this field. I wonder how much wheat is probably like the cheapest stuff <laughs> in the in the whole game, probably. Right, we have got some stuff in there. Where is it? Farm shop. Okay, so it's telling me. So we only have one place to sell everything, which is kind of a shame. Wheat is actually not bad. That's the second most expensive item. I believe this is wheat. I'll probably find out later if it's something completely different. But anyway. So yeah, that's not too bad, is it? So my, I do need to start selling stuff because as you can see, I've only got 22,000 left in the bank. And I'm gonna try not to take out a loan. We'll see, I mean, if I start struggling, then I might then decide to um, take our loan but we'll see how it goes after flogging a lot of the wheat we'll see how much I get for that but I, I suppose I need I need to be careful because the field that I'm planting right now is a really large one so I suppose I need to be careful that I don't run out of wheat for that, that field now I wonder what I could plant in this field I think I'm just going to kind of stick with only working this field and the other large, large field because I think that will be more than enough. So this is field number 11 I believe and then like I said earlier, field number 9 is it? No, field number 3 I think, no, field number 2 actually, so field number 2, field number 11. I think I'm just going to work those fields first and maybe after a while build up working with other fields, we'll see how it goes though. Now I'm actually getting pretty good FPS even though I'm recording a video which is nice and um, yeah the map seems pretty alright in terms of um, it is quite a nice 
looking one, but it doesn't seem to hit my FPS like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna hire a worker, and I'm gonna then leave him, and I'm gonna get in this, and I'm gonna go, and this, I'm not, this is a tractor called same Explorer 3105. This actually came with the map. It doesn't look great to me. It looks okay. I don't like it that much, to be honest. It's, it's you know, it's passable. But, it's like I said, I'm, I'm going to play for a while with the regular stuff in the game, uh, in the map, in the New Grange Farm map that you get with it, and then after that I'm going to obviously try to buy some other interesting stuff that I have the mods that I have installed. It seems like that this more realistic mod is not mega mega popular. I thought it would be really popular but when you look online at the various mods there's a fairly like limited amount of maps and items you know that you can use with this this map this more realistic mod I mean sorry. Okay, let's uh, help him to... And the reason I hired a worker is, as you can see, I've got 48%, 49%, so my trailer is quite full up. So I'm going to have to probably go back to offload it. Because also, I don't really want it to get to 100%, because with this more, more realistic mod, I might then struggle with the amount of weight. But we'll see. Now, I have, I did play the map for about 30-40 minutes before starting this video. So I do have a, a rough idea where everything is on the map. Because I thought it would be kind of bad doing a let's play if I was completely had no idea where everything was. That would not be very good, right? What I might do, I might actually take this directly to the farm shop, wouldn't it? To get some money. Should I? And then I'll still have some extra stuff left. How much wheat have we got? Where's my storage? There it is. Yeah, we've got a bit of wheat in there. Not, not that much. 4,000? I don't know, I'm not sure what to do now. I might have to play it. Um, I might have to play it a bit safer, you know, maybe. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna head off with this amount. I think we're good. Because you know what? I I can't remember where I have to go to, to tip. I think, let me see, I'm going to go this way, because I would like to obviously tip the, the seed into the nearest place. I think I have to go all the way near um, the number two field, do I? Is that a road? Where's my road? I don't see a road. I think the gate, I need to find the gate to the field there. Okay, let's go an outside view, because I should be able to see the gate more easily then, shouldn't I? Uh, I think it's at the far end here. Yeah. Okay. So I think, oh yeah, I think I see on the map that that's a road. Yeah, I think it is. So yeah, I think I need to go back to the main part of the farm. This is a, a field which is a little bit far away from, you know, the main part of the farm where I have to do the tipping. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad, actually. Shouldn't be too bad. As you can see, we're struggling a bit up this hill. Come on. That's why I said didn't want it to be 100% full, this trailer, because I wasn't sure how the tractor would fare. And it's also really cool that, look, when you go downhill, I mean, you can actually speed up from the momentum. I'm not actually accelerating there. That's just from the momentum. 
So I think that's awesome. I really do like that a lot. Okay, I believe we're going right here. This map has AI vehicles, which is good. Whoa. You see the front end of the, of the tractor getting pulled off the ground there? Oh my goodness, failing. Oh my goodness. Failing. Big failings there. <laughs> Actually, I need to put a weight on the front, don't I, I think? Because even though this is not 100% full, this trailer, it's still... Uh, it's still giving me a bit of grief, isn't it? So I need to put a weight. I only have one weight available, and it's not a very heavy one. But it might just help a little bit, we'll see. Okay, now I believe... Where, where am I going? It's not up there, is it? Oh, did I miss the turning? I think I just missed my turning there, guys. This could end badly. Yep. This could end badly. Lol. <laughs> I fluked that, didn't I, somewhat? Okay, I don't know how I managed to miss my turning there. Usually I just look for the, the muddy tracks on the road. I think it's here. How could I have missed that? Anyway, whatever. I need to improve my driving a lot. Because when you're using this mod... Whoa, 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 whoa. When you use this mod, you have to drive a lot more slowly. You can't just, you know, grab all the tractors around. And this is going to be tough getting up this hill. Come on. Come on. Oh, look, look at her. She doesn't like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, this is not good, guys. This is not good. Let's try and go slowly. You know what? That really is not good at all. Look. It's too heavy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's just try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. This is going to be an issue, this big hill here. I do have one weight, but I don't think it's going to be enough, guys. This is kind of what I love about this whole thing, though. It's very realistic. This is not going to be enough, is it? I'm going to give it a go, but look at the weight. It's really not very good. I'm going to give it a go. I might just have to take this to the farm shop, and then I might have to do that for now. Whoop, until I manage to get a better weight. Whoops, wrong thing. Whoopsie. There we go. I don't think it's going to help enough, is it, guys? Look. Is it? Nah. She's struggling. She's definitely struggling. Okay, let's go into first gear. I don't think it's going to be enough. Because, you know, you can just see it's the weight. It's the sheer weight that's the issue, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, though. Gear one. That's, that's it. Cool. So... Gear one worked fine. Awesome. That was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Right, we need where do we have to actually take this to? We have to tip it somewhere. Where's my storage thing? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go on foot first, because it's it's gonna be annoying if you're gonna have to watch me find where I need to dump this. You know with that massive tractor. Right, I don't think it's anywhere here. What's this for? Bales unloading area. Okay. So I don't think it's anywhere here. So this is why I did this on foot. Because imagine if I'd driven all the way in here with that massive heavy trailer. You know, that would have sucked. Is it just here? I think it's just here, is it? Oh, yeah. Does it really matter where you, where you dump it? There's no signs. Can you just dump it anywhere here? This is... That looks like corn to me. What's this? This is like the... Kind of hay straw stuff, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to take a wild guess it's one of these. But they all look the same. I 
think either that one. Oh god, I have no idea. And there's not a sign, is there? So I don't know. Maybe they're exactly the same. We'll see. Okay. Let's do this. What I'm going to do, actually, is just go around. Like that. Excuse me. Very interesting. I'm going to have to do this quite slowly, guys, because uh, I'm not quite sure. It's going to be a little bit hard to get it in there. Should be okay. I'm using keyboard and mouse, by the way, to control. It's not ideal, but it kind of works. Barley is not except... Oh, it's barley! See, I told you it was not wheat. I knew it was not going to be wheat. <laughs> Which one is barley then? Oh, damn it. So it's barley. Let's see. So that probably is the cheapest thing there is. Let me look at this thing. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, it's the cheapest out of that kind of cereal stuff, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. It's all part of the fun, isn't it, learning this stuff? Right, so which one is barley? It's, I'm hoping it is this one. And why are there not signs? Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's what I'm talking about. You need to take it easy. Don't get overexcited. Okay, slowly does it. There we go. Yay, it is accepted here. Awesome. Unload. I'm going to look at my inventory thing. Just to make sure it, it it goes up and everything. Yep, there you go. It's going up. Okay, so we've learned how to get up here with a trailer. Um, so I have to make sure this trailer is not 100% full because I can barely get up there in this tractor in gear one, first gear. Mm, okay. That was fun. So now we need to head back because I reckon that guy's going to be pretty, well, nearly finished the field, I reckon, at least. Let's see how the other guy's doing. Oh, he stopped? Why did he stop? Why did he stop? I'm just learning about this AI. I wonder, do they go from left to right? I don't think they do. Let's go, let's go over the other side. Do they go right to left, then? Uh. Let's kind of try him over this side. I really don't know because I've not played this game enough. I mean, I think the AI is going to be a little bit annoying. I am aware of things like course play and stuff like that. I am aware that that exists, but I want to learn the basic stuff. Oh, look, there's water there. I want to learn the basic stuff before I do stuff like course play, you know? I want to learn the basics first. Okay, let's see if he does any better. It's a good job I did check up on that guy, innit? Okay, let's see this guy. He is only 1% full. Why has he stopped? So, it looks like it's going to be annoying, this AI. I need to babysit. Like I said, I am aware of things like course play, but I'm going to see if I can work with the vanilla AI from the game first before I do any drastic stuff like that. We'll see. I'm not even... Actually, I think course play is not really compatible with more realistic mod. I think that's the case. So that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? But Okay, hire him. Go back to him. Okay, so we are going left, I believe. Yep, all is good. So we're heading back and we need to turn off left as well here and go back to field 11. 
Is it this road? Was it that road? No, I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's the next one, actually. Let's see. Oh, I think it's this one, actually. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's this one. Let's go. Bit of scenery. Yay! Like I said, I do really like this this map. It looks really beautiful, really nice, and it seems like it's quite friendly for AI, which is awesome. Right, well, I can see my harvester working away there. Kind of. I wonder if I went into gear one, if I if then I could go at the exact same speed of the combine as the combine. Let's try to test that. Because I was finding that speed one before was actually too, whoa 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 my bad. Speed one was too fast. Look, speed one is still too fast. Wow, that sucks. Oh well, whatever. So it means I have to manually match the speed. Now, actually, while while he's finishing up this, what I might do, I need to get, I need to do the whole baling stuff, don't I? Do I have a baler? Let's put my own stuff, what I own. I don't think I do, you know. Owned. I don't think I have a baler. No. Um, let me see how much a baler is. Baler. It's quite expensive. 53 grand for a round baler. Oh, this is a rectangular baler, 13k, awesome. So I'm going to buy that, actually. I, I can just afford that. Earliest 1987 quadrant, yeah, so that should work, shouldn't it? Okay, let's buy that. This is actually a mod. This is a, a modded baler that I got, which is MR compatible. Okay, we bought that. We're running out of money, so yeah, gotta be careful. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna leave this trailer over here and go pick up the baler from the farm shop. Leave it here out of the way, in the middle of the road, but then mine. <laughs> You know what I mean. Right, let's go a few gears. Let's go back in this view. Okay, so let's go pick up the baler. So obviously then I can try to get these, the field here, all the bales and everything. I believe I don't have animals right now. Where can I see on my PDA? Do I have animals? Well, I don't have any livestock expenses. No, I don't think I do have any animals. I think you have to buy them, which is kind of good because I don't want to have to look after them straight away. And I am going to have to sell some of this barley that I just got, you know. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I will have to buy right, right in the middle of the road here. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> there you go. We, we did it just. But I will have to sell some of my um, wheat that I have just harvested 
because as you can see my money is getting very very low now and I'm not sure what to do with the bales whether I should keep them or try to sell them not quite sure um, I will try to put a link in the description obviously for the map but also for the, the baler because like I said it's a modded one if I can find the link now this is the farm shop area so let's just show you on, on this new Grange farm we've got like the bank stuff finance stuff we've got this is where you buy stuff if you want to buy here I believe this is where you drop off eggs is it I don't know it would seem to suggest you drop off eggs here not quite sure if anybody knows that is it here I don't know if anybody knows how to do that I'm not sure if it's automatic or if you have to actually bring eggs here not sure the helpline thing and this must be where you sell your wheat so it's kind of a shame there's only one place where you can flog stuff oh this is where you bring the vehicles if you want to flog them and get more more money you can obviously sell them regularly you know like instantly but you won't get as much money so this is the class quadrant 1200 and it's a modded one it looks quite nice doesn't it some of the things are a bit low res but overall quite happy with this looks quite nice I like how it looks slightly dirty that's good yeah I like the look of that it looks quite good and only 12,000 which is nice so, so of course the only reason I bought this was because I didn't already have a baler the rest of the stuff I'm going to be using obviously only the stuff that I got with the map I'm slightly concerned whether my tractor can handle the weight of this thing because it looks heavy to me doesn't it ok let's go Okay. looks nice actually I like the bit of the top there that's well made where you can see like the mechanical parts and stuff and that was not a good start was it am I stuck Are you kidding me am I stuck Okay, I think I am. Let's unattach. Okay, let's try and reattach. That was a bit of a fail there, wasn't it? Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I doing? That was a massive fail, actually. Right, come on. So let's try and attach it from a funny angle where I'm going to be. Able to, where that's going to be okay for me to drive off. Hang on, mate. Sorry about this. Is it going to let me attach it? No, oh, no, too far away. That was a bit careless, wasn't it, to say the least. Okay, is it going to let me drive off here? Yes, it is. Okay, we are good. Sorry, mate. Sorry, everyone. I'm going to get a reputation in this, this town, aren't I? I'm going to get a bad reputation in this town. Right, I'm heading back to Field 11 then. Okay, so actually I think uh, this is a good place to end this this episode. A nice, short, or relatively short first episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.